So the advanced declines are in danger of getting uh, the advancing lines more than the declining lines. At the moment, it's running even, Stephen. So that bears watching. The bank nifty is holding out, but we have a bunch of numbers, and some of them very good. For instance, Jagran Prakashan coming up with a 9% rise in uh, top line and a 42% rise in profit. Margins improve considerably. We have Mr. R.K. Agarwal, the CFO of Jagran Prakashan, joining us on the phone line. Uh, morning, Mr. Agarwal. Uh, how much can top line grow? I can see that your margins are doing well because of newsprint prices falling. But uh, can top line do better for the rest of the year? Yes, at least for Q2, I can uh, very well say that the uh, growth is going to be better than what we have achieved in Q1. And Q3 as it is, uh, we are very optimistic about. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm expecting you know better growth in coming quarters. What kind of subscription and ad revenue growth can we uh, see? Subscription revenue may grow, you know, at a rate of six to seven percent, mm. but uh, advertisement revenue uh, will continue to grow in double digit. Okay, so double digit ad growth, uh, Mr. Uh, Agarwal. What about newsprint prices? How much have they fallen this quarter, and how has that helped you with your margins? Let me correct you. Uh, falling newsprint prices have happened for everyone, mm. uh, and uh, has not really helped us to improve our margins of profits mm -hmm. because whatever gain we had, mm -hmm. uh, that we passed on to advertisers. Oh. Okay. Okay. But your margins have improved quite a bit to about 28% versus 24% last time. Um, how did that come about and yes. do you expect further improvement? Yes. Uh, margins are uh, going to improve uh, in coming quarters. Uh, there is no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. And how it has happened? Uh, in fact, uh, the growth in advertisement revenue in case of mother brand has been pretty good and uh, that is what uh, has uh, completely translated into the bottom line. Number two, there were other publication brands which have been bleeding for some time. There had to be some, there had to be some time when they turn around and this is what has happened in this quarter. Okay. So well, that is what has really helped us uh, improve our margins mm -hmm. and also report higher profits. Okay, I have some promoter related questions for you. Your promoters reduced stake by two percentage points. That's a bit of an overhang. Uh, do you think that they might do so further? And uh, with FDI likely to get increased, will you all look yeah. for any strategic partnership? Uh, no. Not really. We don't need funds. And let me clarify, mm -hmm. promoters have not reduced their estate. They have rather increased their estate by 3% in this current quarter. Okay. What does it stand at now? Uh, it stands at nearly, you know, 61.5. Uh, okay. Okay. Can you tell us about the radio business? Uh, how, how is that progressing at this point and what yeah. is the expectation going ahead? That is a beautiful asset what we have acquired and they have done again the best in the industry. Uh, in the first quarter, we could incorporate result only for 20 days, but going forward, we'll be uh, consolidating the results for the entire quarter. Mm. And uh, I'm pretty confident they are going to outperform the industry as they did in the last year. All right, uh, we leave it at that. Thank you for joining us and taking us through uh, your numbers. That's Jagran.